Hi, my name is Matt Nelson. I'm one of the ministers of Hickory Flat United Methodist Church and wanted to bring you some reflections and thoughts today on the quote by Corey Ten Boom that says, never be afraid to trust an unknown future to a known God. In these days of change and transition in our culture and our world, um, there's been a lot of unknowns that I have experienced myself. And I am a person who is an extrovert, I'm a helper, I'm a hugger, and so to not be present with people has been quite a challenge. And so it feels very much like an unknown experience right now, just places of newness in so many different capacities. And it reminds me a little bit of what happens when you peel back the layers of the comfort and the things in our life that seem to be so familiar. It reminds me of the story of the calling of Samuel in the Old Testament from 1 Samuel chapter 3. Samuel uh, is having these dreams at night, and he's hearing these voices, and he goes into Eli, who is sort of his mentor and his father figure, and says, what do you need? And over and over, Eli says, I'm not calling you. But Samuel realizes that it's God's voice ultimately calling him. And there's something about those places when things get pulled back that we become more aware of the voice of God. And for me, uh, the task and the busyness, the orientation to getting things done is so often the challenge that I have in my life. And it becomes now this new unknown place that I experience. And it's making me more and more mindful uh, to hear and be aware of God's voice and God's spirit moving in my life and in my world. It, it is this slowing down that is truly helpful. And I wonder if there's not more of a need for that not just in our lives as children of God and as Christians and disciples, but for our world, for our culture, uh, for the ways in which our lives frantically move about and we've sort of insulated and guarded and protected ourselves. And so there's almost this new Lent, not just of the soul, but Lent of life, uh, this sort of new journey to pull back these protective places that uh, keep me safe. Because as I look to the future, um, I do have to be able to trust a God who knows exactly what's going on. It reminds me of a song, a hymn that I grew up singing in uh, my Presbyterian roots, actually. Uh, a song that I don't know that many people are aware of, but the Verses of it speak to trusting God's grace and how it's become known to us and the way that God's saving faith comes and is imparted through Jesus and the word that speaks. But the chorus sounds this way. But I know whom I have believed, and I am persuaded that he is able to keep that which I've committed unto him against that day. So for the days ahead... For all the unknowns, may I, may you, may we trust the unknown future to a known, loving, trusting, and merciful God. Let it be so. Amen.